Imagine for a moment that your thoughts and emotions are not simply subjective experiences, but rather the building blocks of the world you live in. Your consciousness is a powerful force that weaves the fabric of reality itself. Every thought you have, every intention you set, every emotion you feel spreads through the world and influences the collective consciousness and the very matter. The universe is not a collection of inert matter and energy, but a living, pulsating entity that responds to the deepest impulses of our mind. This is a world where the secrets of creation do not lie in the realm of the physical, but in the infinite expansion of consciousness. In this world, everything is connected, every thought, every feeling, every act of will. The universe is not just vast space and time, it is a canvas of endless possibilities waiting to be shaped by our thoughts, emotions, and actions. From the smallest subatomic particles to the largest cosmic phenomena, everything is in a constant state of flux, responding to the subtlest changes in our mental and emotional states. This is the world of the mental universe, a world where the mind is not merely an observer, but an active participant in the ongoing process of creation. It is a world where the mysteries of existence are not unraveled solely through science and logic, but through a deep understanding of the workings of the human mind and consciousness. This idea has its roots in ancient philosophies and spiritual traditions that recognized the interconnection of all things. Ancient hermetists and initiates have known this truth for centuries and have formulated a system of knowledge and wisdom to explore its depths. They understood that the universe is not a collection of separate and isolated entities, but rather a holistic system where each part is intimately connected to the whole. The hermetic philosophy teaches that the universe is of a mental nature. In other words, the entire cosmos is the product of the divine mind, which is the source of all creation. This means that everything we see and experience in the world is a product of our collective consciousness. The universe is not something separate from us, but rather a reflection of our own minds. So what does it mean to say that everything is mind and that the universe is mental? It means that we are all part of an infinite consciousness that encompasses everything. When we speak of the mind, we are not referring to the rational and analytical part of our brains, but to the vast realm of consciousness. A higher level of consciousness that transcends individual thought and extends to the totality of existence. This consciousness represents the whole, a creative force that encompasses everything which some may refer to as God, the source, or the creative consciousness. Every thought, every emotion, every sensation, every experience is ultimately a manifestation of this universal mind. And when we say that the universe is mental, we are acknowledging that the cosmos itself is the product of this consciousness. The entirety of creation, from the smallest grain of sand to the farthest galaxy, is the result of cosmic imagination, the divine will that gives birth to all things. The reality we experience is a product of our collective consciousness, and the universe is not merely a physical entity, but a mental one. Everything is mind and the universe is mental. Because it is through the power of the mind that we can create our reality, shape our destiny, and tap into the infinite potential of the universe. This power, known as imagination, is the key to unlocking our true potential and manifesting our deepest desires. As the great author and teacher Neville Goddard said, Imagination is the power by which you create reality. God is imagination. Imagination is the power by which we create our reality. Our thoughts and our imaginations are two sides of the same coin of creation. According to Goddard, everything we experience in the world is a manifestation of our own thoughts and beliefs. Therefore, if we want to change our reality, 
we must first change our thoughts. But this power should not be taken lightly. It is not simply a matter of positive thoughts or positive affirmations. It is a deep and transformative force that can shape reality itself. It means that we have the power to shape our destiny through the power of our imagination. And it means that we must approach this power with reverence, humility, and a deep understanding of the principles that govern its functioning. Don Miguel Ruiz, the author of The Four Agreements, has also expressed the idea that the world we experience is a product of our collective consciousness. In his book, he argues that we all live in a shared dream, which he calls the dream of the planet. According to Ruiz, the dream of the planet is the collective set of beliefs, customs, and expectations that shape our experience of the world. These beliefs and expectations are passed down from generation to generation and are reinforced by the culture and society in which we live. This dream creates a kind of collective hallucination in which we perceive the world in a certain way and are often unaware of the limitations and biases that this perception creates. The reality we experience is not an objective and external entity, but a product of our collective consciousness. The universe is not merely a physical entity, but a mental one, shaped and created by our thoughts and perceptions. The impact of our thoughts lies in the energy we invest in them. They acquire meaning only through our active attention. As we immerse ourselves in specific thoughts, the emotions they evoke become tangible. This emotional change guides us toward a specific emotional realm, shaping our subsequent actions. For example, constantly surrendering to the notion of personal failure and giving it undue attention leads to a cascade of negative feelings, discouragement, insignificance, and despair. This repetitive commitment could even escalate to a state of depression. The physiological response to such a mental state is notable. A hunched posture, drooping shoulders, and an obvious lack of self-confidence. In contrast, when we direct our focus to empowering thoughts, they serve to strengthen our self-confidence. This instigation of confidence then leads to a positive emotional attitude, which is reflected even in our physical posture. Standing tall, radiating positivity, and emitting energy become evident manifestations of this elevated emotional state. But there is much more. Turning frustration into delight, impatience into patience, animosity into affection, conflict into serenity, sadness into joy, and similar transformations, these are the desirable attributes we aspire to achieve. However, despite our longing for positivity, we often allow discomforts to disturb us and struggle in vain with situations that are beyond our control. Interestingly, around 90% of our negative thoughts never manifest. Yet we still find ourselves being carried away by these negative thought patterns. Each time we enter one of these negative thought patterns, we have to become aware of them by observing them closely and realizing that that negative mental situation or scenario will never happen as is or is directly false. Utilizing the principle of polarity, we can focus on the opposite pole of the negative thought we wish to dissolve. As mentioned in the Kybalion, to destroy an undesirable mental vibration, put into operation the principle of polarity and concentrate on the opposite pole you want to suppress. Eliminate the undesirable by changing its polarity. Through this mental transmutation, we have the ability to invert or expel these negative thoughts. We can replace them by directing our attention to different thoughts or external activities, such as immersing ourselves in nature or engaging in activities that elevate our mood. The philosophy of Hermeticism explores various aspects of mental transmutation. This concept encapsulates the idea of remodeling our thoughts to refine, cleanse, elevate, and ultimately improve both our mental landscape and our life path. Called mental transmutation or sometimes mental alchemy, 
this process harnesses the potential of our cognitive capacity to metamorphose ourselves and our circumstances, altering their form, appearance or nature, often elevating them to a higher state.